Hello once again to Dr. Barbara Miller, um, NCLEX review. This is a short uh, session on stages of labor. You do have four stages of labor. And in the first stage of labor, you have three phases. Okay, so let's start with the first stage from the onset of regular uterine contraction to full effacement and dilation of the cervix. The cervix has to open to 10 centimeters and effacement or thinning of the, uh, the, the, the cervix 100%. This is longer than the second and third uh, stage because before uh, Leopold maneuvers perform vaginal, uh, no evidence to allow the, the exam to assess uh, whether the client in, in, in true labor and whether membranes have ruptured. So review first stage, the second stage of labor from the fully dilated to the birth. So the fetus comes out in the second stage of labor, okay? The third stage of labor is the placental stage. This lasts from the birth of the fetus until the placenta is delivered, okay? Give one and five minutes of the APGAR, meaning that when the, the, the newborn comes out of the birth canal, the doctor will hand the baby over to the uh, circulating nurse. You gotta do the APGAR score at five, one minute and five minutes. This is just to determine how the baby uh, is doing in extra uterine life. On the third stage, the placenta comes out and then you want to administer oxytocin or pitocin to help stimulate the uterine contractions to prevent uh, excessive bleeding. For vaginal delivery, the patient will 